Hi, you guys. Welcome back. Um, so right now I am going to uh, cut some paper. I mean, actually use that die set that um, that I showed you earlier. Uh, I'm just seeing what uh, paper to use. Hold on a minute. And then I'm going to share with you uh, the TN that I'm using, the Fox Leather. Oh my God, I can't even say that word. Fox uh, Leather from Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to show you that. I'm trying to pick out some paper to cut out those frames. Okay, I'm going to use this one. This is a pretty paper. I'm going to use that one. And that paper I'm using is the Wild at Heart that I had got a couple weeks ago. Because we all know we have lots of paper, right? So I actually want to cut, um, to use my, uh, well, I did use it. Let me show you real quick. Look at how pretty that is. And these are going to be fun to use on my cards. Look at that. I love that. This is a smaller one. I'm going to do the bigger one right now. And then I also did some flowers. Look at the flower. Probably the white of the... There we go. So I did that one, and I have some extra paper that I had cut out. So I'm going to do the big one, but out of this one, and um, cut that out right now. So I have my Cricut. Oh, my Cricut. Oh, my God. I'm so backwards. <laughs> Oh my God. Okay, you guys. Welcome back to Elena for Crafts. I don't know if I said that or not. Um, but anyways, um, so um, I'm going to cut this out. I have my big shot here, okay? It's a big shot, not a cricket. <laughs> so many, how you say, a die cutting machine. There's so many different ones, and I'm sure they're going to have new ones. They always do. Okay, so this is the flower um, that I cut out. And so I am going to do this one. It's a bigger frame. And then uh, I'm adding two of them. Let me see if I can turn you guys a little bit. So you can actually see how I'm doing this. Hopefully that's okay. And then I'm just going to go like that. And then I'm going to just put this on top. Just makes it a lot easier. And then you just put it in here and slide it through. Wait, am I doing something wrong? Hold on a minute. Oh, it's probably the cardstock because it's a lot... Um, thicker from the other paper that I was using it's a lot thinner so there we go oops okay and here we go all right I usually put it two times but because the paper is um, cardstock and it's a little thicker, so um, so it cut right through. I thought I would have to put it through two times, but I guess not. And this is awesome because you can still use these as well. I wonder if this will fit the smaller... Um, Oh, yeah, it will fit the smaller one. So I can actually use this as well. 
Okay, and since there are two of them in here, so look at how pretty that is. Sorry for the glare on this. Let me get a piece of paper because of the glare here. I just had some paper right here. Uh, hold on a minute. Oh, let me add it on this. Look at how cool that looks, right? And there's a lot of them that pop out. They actually just come right out. So isn't that awesome? I love this die. Oh my gosh. And so there's two of them. So I want to cut more of those out so I can have um, for my cards. So I'm going to do the smaller one. So let's go ahead and do that. And then um, let me check the time on here. Um, want to make sure that I have time to show you my project that I was talking about. Okay, here we go. And see, these are just popping right out. And what I was doing, I just used this one here to go like that. And they just come right out. So, um, as I will show you. Not the best looking plate, but you get where I'm going with this. Oops. So, yeah, it came, came out really nice. See the paper there is what I usually do. Would just pop out like that. See? So, I know they have that brush that you can use to... Uh, they come out right away. Maybe I will get that later on, but I'm okay just doing it myself. But anyways, um, oh, I forgot one more. Okay, so I wanted to show you that. And the next thing I want to show you, because I was really excited to cut um, these out. And I want to cut out more of these. I want to use some of my um, uh, glitter paper, I think would actually look nice too. Okay, so um, let me uh, get this stuff out of the way and I'll come right back. Okay, now that I put all that stuff to the side, um, I wanted to come and show you so I use two pieces, this one and this one. And these are from Hobby Lobby. And they are the new designs that Hobby Lobby has. So I have this one and two more different ones that I had uh, picked up at Hobby Lobby. And then uh, what I used to cut everything out, I actually was going to do it um, how I do my laminating TNs, but then, um, I was like, you know what? No, I'm going to go ahead and use this. So this one I picked up at, um, oh, where did I pick this up? At Hobby Lobby when they did their first clearance out. Now, um, what I mean by their first is, you know how they're clearancing everything out at Hobby Lobby. Everybody's been getting all kinds of different things. Well, the one that they had before that, they did a lot of dyes. They did all kinds of stuff. They didn't, I don't remember them doing the paper. Now, in this clearancing out, they're doing the paper. They're doing all kinds of mixed media stuff and um, certain things, but especially the paper, right? Well, this one I got um, on the first clearance that they had. So, um, and then they were clearancing out a lot of dyes. So, I saw this one and I wanted it so bad. But um, the regular price is $29, which you can still use a coupon. I know, but I was like, no, it's okay. I'll just keep doing what I'm doing. 
Well, they had it, and it I got it for seven forty nine, and it goes for twenty nine dollars. And uh, I'm sure you can find this online if you um, are looking for this or want this. Um, so it is to make um, TNs, and it has um, on this paper. On the other side, it, ha it shows you exactly the steps, how to put these together. So, of course, I want to make one, right? Because I love TNs. And um, I made a template just so I know how it was going to look. Give me an idea of... Um, I didn't want to go ahead and cut the material... So I wanted to use some scrap paper and see how it was going to look. So this is the size that it would actually look. And there's all the holes that um, it cuts out there. So if, and this die's not new. It's been out for a while. So there's all kinds of videos on this. And um, to look on uh, how exactly they're putting it together and all that stuff. You want to take a look at that. And then this is the inside. So you can add the pockets here or on the side. And then it also comes with the, um, with the pen holder. So, uh, but this is normally what it would look like. I actually was just going to do my own from scratch. But um, when I was going through my stuff, I knew I had this one. And I said, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and use this instead. Since everything's already cut for me, I can just put it together. And that's the easy part, right? So I cut out uh, this material. I used the light one. I wanted to mix them both. And, so, and I used the dark one. Now, I am not done, but I wanted to show you the process of it. So, this is the process of what it's going to look like. And then that's the um, binder. So, I'm making it really sturdy so that way it can form really good once um, the materials in there and the books and stuff. And so, this is, as you can see, there is the three holes there that you do the, um, what do you call the um, string? And so I added one on this side and I added another one on this side, as you can tell. And what's funny is that when you cut out, um, when you cut this out on the die, um, it actually had this left over. So it worked out perfect to add on both sides. So I had it on, um, these right here so it can stay flat so I just took them off right now and the adhesive that I used is this one is the permanent adhesive now there is different ones you can use you don't have to use this you can use different ones and even if you don't have the die set you can do it out of cardstock you know really do it out of cardstock and go check out those YouTube videos on this. And you pretty much will know like how many papers you have to cut out. Because this one, you have to cut them out like two pieces of cardstock. So you have one piece that lines up here. Then you have the other piece that lines up there. So we pretty much know, and if you don't, you just cut out some cardstock and then score it right here if you want the wide look. And you can just add your own pocket and just make it out of cardstock. But if you have a laminator, you can laminate it as well. Or you can cut some fabric that you have in your stash or anything. Just some ideas in case you don't have the dye. But this is how it cut out and I'm loving it. I love the size. Not too, uh, not too big and not too small, as you can tell. And then it will form just like this. Wait, hold on a minute. Yeah, this is the back. And right away, uh, making sure here. Hold on a minute. Oh, no, is it the, I get confused here. Oh, yeah. 
Let me make sure, you guys, because, oh, yeah, it is. Sorry. <laughs> so the light pink is in the front, and the dark pink is in the back. So it's going to fold like that, as you can see. See how wide it is? And I love the wide look, okay, for me. I love the wide look because of um, you're able to add more things in it. Um, when you're doing your, you know, your insert books, they're going to get thick. They're, you know, you want to add uh, shakers, you want to add pictures, you want to add your calendar or whatever. Eventually, it will get thick and you need room for that. So I love, love how that came out. And then, so here, I still have to glue this part right here, but I wanted to do that last. So you would go like that and then push this down and that's how it would look. So I'm still not done. I'm still, it's a working in progress. Um, doing any kind of TNs, they are work. So you got to pretty much um, cut everything, uh, have all the material and stuff like that. So that's what I'm doing. But I wanted to come on to show you this because this is actually my first that I'm doing it out of this kind of material because usually I do the laminating ones the laminating ones are the ones that I'll usually do and um, as I showed you in my previous video see I usually do the um, the paper and then just laminate it and I did that one because I usually love to make me one, um, a new one every time. And I have this one that I haven't even finished. I'm still working on this one. And, um, but anyways, let me put that there. And so I'm not done, but I wanted to come and show you exact. I'm just pushing this down. Because I have like one, two, three to enforce the spine here to enforce it so that way it's very sturdy and when you put your books it will go just like that sorry i wasn't even framed so that's what i'm doing and then i want to add uh some pockets in here totally want to add some pockets and i will be doing that as well um I would have to, I'm thinking if, if I should cut them out or, um, you know, just cut the piece and then just cut it in between so I don't have to cut it with the scissors. It can cut it for me. In other words, that's what I was trying to say. But I love how this is coming out. And I just wanted to come and show you guys the process before and after. Um, it's not done. And um, I just wanted to come and share with you guys. As you can see here, this is what it looks like. These are the three lines there. So you would actually cut two of these with that die set right here. But you can pretty much get the template on Pinterest. Because I saw, I was looking on Pinterest, they do got templates if you want to go on Pinterest and you just trace it on your paper and you can make your own, you know. You don't even have to laminate it. It's actually uh, going to be for you. So you just make it and work with it the way you want to, you know. So this is what I'm doing and I wanted to share that with you. And as I'm working on this, this is actually my first using this material and using this die so i really love it i really love how this is coming out i love the color how the color looks oh my god i love the color and the inside is so soft so um as i'm working on this i will be sharing it with you guys and showing you what I did and what I'm adding as I'm, um, as I'm working on this. So this is something that this is part one. That's what I'm showing you. And I just wanted to show you how I'm putting this together. And I hope you enjoy this. 
And um, the night the pocket, I think I might use. Oops, <laughs> everything fell because I have my uh, table full of stuff. So this is um, that one. And once again, I got these at uh, Hobby Lobby, and these I got on sale because they were uh, what was it, fifty percent off? Yeah, it was fifty percent off. And this pink one, and then I'm thinking of cutting this one for the pockets and the inside because I want um, the inside to have this color pockets. I'm thinking that's what I want to do. So, and I also got uh, the floral one as well. So I want to cut um, that as well. Let me go ahead and grab it before, um, yeah, let, I'll be right back. So here, let me see. Drop my glossy accent. Here is the other floral one that I got. So I got a couple of different ones that I've collected over the times that I've gone to Hobby Lobby, even when they weren't on sale, I still uh, bought one of them with uh, the coupon, right? So this is the next one that I also uh, picked up that I want to also create another one like this. So anyways, I hope this was helpful or um, interesting or anything like that. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see part two, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment that you want to see part two. And I would definitely come back and show you the next step that I'll be doing with this one. I can't wait till this is done because I really love, I did not want to come on and show you guys, okay, look, here's my TN. It's already done. <laughs> and like, okay, what did you use? How did you do it? You know, and stuff like that. So instead of uh, doing that, I thought I'd come on and just show you what I'm working on. And this is how it looks for right now. So with that, thank you so much for watching my video. Don't forget to leave a comment. And I will be coming back soon. Bye, you guys.